So uh, hopefully I'll answer your first question of the day, which is what the heck is TII? And um, so I'm uh, you know, calling in from uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, this beautiful downtown Abu Dhabi. Uh, and I'm gonna talk about the secure risk uh, five base uh, flight controller. And a lot of the talks today talked about the ingredients of making the risk five based uh, systems. Uh, we're going to talk about how we actually use them and um, and use some of the newer capabilities that uh, some of the speakers have uh, are talking about. And so, uh, Technology Innovation Institute, we are about a year and a half old um, now. Uh, we are part of the uh, Advanced Research Technology Council. We are the Applied Research Group, um, and our goal is to really drive research into. Uh, several critical areas uh, for the UAE, uh, and that contributes to the R&D system uh, here, and the, uh, uh, also the knowledge-based economy as well. We have a number of different centers. Um, it's a well-funded uh, organization. We have a quantum research center uh, that has announced building a, you know, a quantum computer uh, based in Abu Dhabi. Uh, Autonomous Robotics Center, uh, Crypto Center, the Advanced Material Center, Digital Research, Security Research Center, and the Directed Energy Center. What we're going to talk about is the Secure Systems Research Center, which I represent. Our goal is here to really develop end-to-end -end security and resilience in cyber physical uh, and autonomous systems. And this is very simple. We want, you know, from the edge all the way into cloud, be secured uh, against uh, uh, intrusion, secured against uh, data exfiltration, secured against um, um, privacy uh, protection for the data. And so we have a number of technologies that we are working on, and there are different platforms that we apply to. And my next slide will kind of give you a little bit of uh, details about those. So we have a large team here. We have a, you know, about 60 people now in our team uh, and growing. Uh, we are focusing on secure platform technologies, anywhere from the OS side, virtualization, connectivity, uh, tech silicon and platforms, as well as secure applications. A couple of areas that we are focusing on is secure smartphones. Uh, this is an area where both uh, I and one of my uh, uh, chief colleagues, uh, uh, Suresh Bolapragada, uh, who is our CTO, come from. Uh, this is our background, uh, and uh, we built some systems there, and we know how to make, we believe, uh, even better versions of than what we built before. And then really uh, my own personal um, heart and goal now is focused on the secure autonomous systems. And I'll talk a little bit about that uh, in the next few uh, pages. So today our really main goal is to give you what do you mean by the secure autonomous systems? Um, and you know, what are we trying to do with these systems? And, um, and uh, you know, what we've done here is build one of these autonomous systems. And, and, and a, a simple way of thinking about this autonomous system is to have, think about all the sensors and edge uh, devices connecting up to uh, infrastructure that connects up to the cloud. And uh, it's not humanly possible to have this class of systems be managed by humans. And so we believe that these systems are going to be managed autonomously through a cloud-based intelligent systems. And, and when you have that, um, you have now exposed a huge area of uh, uh, security vulnerabilities um, because think about even a phone that connects to a cloud-based system. And you can imagine the, now you have hundreds of thousands of sensors connecting to a backend infrastructure. Um, and so we are looking at, and we're building an autonomous system that we can kind of build um, and manage and develop some of the technologies and do the research on these uh, systems. And um, basically 
learn how to make those systems uh, resilient um, and secure. And so we are using basically the first generation, we're using an operational system, a system that is operational today, which manages a swarm of drones. Um, each drone, uh, we are just like using RISC-V in a few minutes, I'll talk about that. We're building, all of our building blocks are on open source uh, and we want all the building blocks to be transparent uh, and have security in both hardware and software. So we're driving the definition in those uh, organizations. Um, and we're developing basically, uh, we, and we'll talk about how we are developing uh, a COX-based solution with a secure risk-based SOC and system. And we're gonna replace uh, that uh, current COX-based solution with a, a risk-based, uh, risk-five-based system. So if you look at an autonomous system, the one we're building, you know, think about it as a cloud managing a swarm of drones um, that is still under operator control, but not one-to-one -one control over each of the uh, drones. The drones are uh, connected to other drones. They are connected through mesh connectivity. They are connected through, you know, um, wide area network connectivity. And the kind of things they look at, you know, the kind of use, use cases, because as I, we said, we are really applied systems, uh, applied research systems uh, area here. Um, we're looking at things such as secure delivery systems um, and, uh, and surveillance or monitoring. And it could be things like monitoring, you know, compliance to pandemic you know, people wearing masks, are people gathering in areas, you want to be able to send a set of drones because there is no way humanly possible to even in a city like uh, Dubai or Abu Dhabi to have enough uh, civilian uh, people, uh, police force or task force that would go and monitor all the people. And so these are kind of things that we are looking for. Can we put an infrastructure on the fly? You know, when there is a explosion in Beirut, for example, they lost the entire infrastructure. Can we throw you know, an autonomous system that can connect uh, the rescue services and you know, people to their loved ones? So that's the kind of the goal of this, um, you know, uh, such an autonomous system. Um, there are, as I said, you know, if there was a target rich area, this is one of it. You know, there are issues inside each of the drones, there are issues in communicating with drones, there are issues with drones masquerading and joining swarms. Um, so name it and the target is rich. Um, what we're doing is really um, basically using off the shelf, commercial off the shelf parts, uh, PixHooks four base solution today. Uh, we have a flight controller and a, uh, which is based on an STM device uh, and an Intel chip that is a mission computer, basically. This is a typical of, you know, what you see in a drone-based system, a flight controller managing a lot of real-time actions, mission computer doing a lot of the hard work of vision uh, uh, and vision detection and providing communication uh, system. On the software stack, you have the an Artos running, a Natex, which is an Apache, open source and PX4, which is again, open source. It's an autopilot uh, open source by drone code. So this is roughly what our, each of the drone solution looks like today. The security challenges of the drone solutions are, you know, that there's no, you know, properly implemented root of trust or mechanisms to provision secrets. Uh, no embedded secure st key storage in, you know, some of the, you know, more powerful STM chips. Embedding in the uh, flash memory is uh, proved unreliable. The RDB levels can be unblocked and there's no way to securely provision secrets to the flash. Secure communication requires, you know, a lot of horsepower. And, you know, these, uh, these controllers are not just used for drones, they're used for other reasons as well. It just, they provide um, uh, what you call a direct, um, uh, sorry, um, a real-time response uh, for flight controllers. So uh, that's what people use today instead of using another kind of devices. 
but they don't have MMU. They have very little memory of process isolation. Um, and as you can see, you know, this, then as you try to collapse thing to have a single chip uh, SOC that has both the mission and flight capabilities in it, it they just won't, you know, cut it. Um, so I'm sure, and you know, this is not a knock on STM, you know, that they will evolve this next uh, with features and performance. Uh, though we are looking at the order of magnitude in security performance and transparency in the system. So we don't think that just going down a linear path of evolution is the right answer. So the key motivations for us for doing a risk, you know, five-based platform really overcome the security and performance deficiencies of the current solutions. We want to enable a research platform that can be owned by us so that we can change things, you know, in, in both the firmware and the hardware, because a lot of the things that come today are locked down by the manufacturers for various reasons. And I worked at Intel and I know that we used to lock down when I was there, uh, parts of the system so that um, it's very difficult for somebody to, who, to profess that they have a full end-to-end um, -end security when part of your system is not really, you know, oh, you don't know what's inside that black box. So you really need transparency to build a secure foundation. Um, and we believe that the risk 5 provides us this capability. And hearing the talks today are just, you know, making us feel that that's in the right direction. We want to work with the RISC V based organization, your you know, RISC V org and contributors to really enable an ecosystem uh, that can deal with security from inset. You know. um, and we want to support uh, clearly in our case, um, you know, open source drone community to enable a secure RISC V based uh, PX4 uh, development. And eventually, you know, have a path to a single flight SOC. Um, we have a very exciting research program. It's a three year program um, uh, that we've just started. Uh, we have a number of partners locally, Khalifa, uh, large set of European partners, as well as the uh, partners in um, Canada. And we're looking at doing three sets of things. We're developing a risk five uh, based SOC to replace current solution. We're also looking to implement some of the things that people talked about today, you know, the IOMMU instructions, you know, the crypto ISA extensions, you know, in a, an FPGA based uh, risk five solution. Um, and we want to develop a, uh, our own parts based uh, risk five solution in parallel so we can start to port the secure you know, software stack that we are already designing. So Al Sakr is, very, uh, is an Arabic name for Falcon. And you can see a beautiful Falcon there. That's what it is. We call our project Falcon um, in Arabic. Um, and it's uh, what we're trying to do is to really replace the current SOC in the Pixhub uh, FMU V6X platform. And that's, you know, eventually, you know, some of our team members will come and talk about how they did it, but that's what our goal is today. Um, in terms of what we're basing the stuff on, you know, this is a University of Bologna and Modena and, uh, you know, some parts of ETH, we're using the pulp based uh, architecture uh, that's going to be the key um, core of what we're trying to do. Uh, we're also going to use a secure subsystem inside. And I heard you know, a number of uh, things today talked by some of the speaker. We're considering Open Titan again from a uh, transparency uh, perspective. We believe that we need transparency and security. You know, they go hand in hand. So uh, our summary really is to create um, a transparent, high quality, secure risk-based ecosystem. We presented our plans today to talk about the, you know, what we are trying to do in, in driving secure and resilience through risk five based processors, SOC, software, and systems. We're gonna work with both the risk five org 
as well as the drone photo to really drive this uh, whole ecosystem to have secure uh, risk five based systems. And really for us, our key mission was not to develop the risk five based system. Our key mission is still to build autonomous systems that are end to end secure, but it needs a building block that is secure from ground up. It has to be transparent. It has to be clear to all people that this building block is secure. And that's why we are after a RISC-V based system. So thank you very much. That ends my presentation.